everyone welcome to my channel and welcome to today's video so in today's video i'm going to compare some face palettes for you guys these have been highly requested so i just want to do this video today if you haven't seen my last friday's video i had done a top 10 drugstore palettes which are totally worth it video if you haven't then i will link it in the cards go ahead and check it out in that video i had said that this week i'm going to do the palettes which are not really worth the money so i wanted to do that video today but i don't know somehow i'm not in the mood i'm not in the very negative mood today i'm in a very happy mood so I thought let me just finish the comparison of these palettes because after all these have been requested by you guys and uh, some of you have even requested it like you asked me twice. So I thought let me just get these out of the way because you guys are waiting for it. So if you are someone who is waiting for that other drugstore palette video then I'm so sorry. I will do that next week for sure. So yeah let's get started. So I can already sense that this video is going to get I don't know how long and may got super super long so i will just include timestamps in the description box so that if you're just interested in a particular comparison you can go ahead and check it out so the first palette comparison is between these two colourpop eyeshadow palettes so this is the femme rosa a she palette and this one is the you had me at hello palette this one had released two or three months back this one is a latest release and you guys had asked me to compare these two because they actually look really really similar and i personally i was not going to get this because it to me also it looks really similar to this before we go into the shade comparison let me just quickly tell you a few things these two palettes are exactly the same size this famous palette has 12 eyeshadows with each eyeshadow weighing 0.85 grams or 0 0.03 ounce and the hello palette it has 12 eyeshadows again but each eyeshadow weighs a 1.1 gram or 0 0.039 ounce so this one you get a tad bit more product in each pan and this one comes with a mirror i'll show you and this one retails for $16 and this one is $2 more. It is $18 I think because of the addition of the mirror and some extra product. Let me show you the outside packaging ones of this one. This is just so pretty and you all have the shade names at the back. Same one for this one, Femme Rosa and you have the shade names at the back. But the real beauty is inside. For this one I have a full review on my blog so I will link that also in the description box if you want full review and swatches. For this one, I haven't yet reviewed on my blog, but I'm definitely going to do so. So make sure you subscribe to my blog. Whenever I review this, you can get to see. So this is how both the palettes look like. This is the Hello palette. It is just so, so beautiful. This is how it looks. And you also have the shade names at the back. And this one is the Femme Rosa. And this is also so, so beautiful. I think the packaging is just amazing on these two products. Now let me show you the inside. So here you have a mirror and it has, here also you have some nice little detailing over here. And in Femme Rosa, obviously you don't have a mirror. So this is how the two palettes compare to each other. This is how the shades look like. I would say that they are very, very similar to each other. I would say that this Hello palette is kind of an extension to this palette uh, because I feel like all the tones are pretty similar this one is also a mauve kind of mauve toned palette this one also is a mauve and a pinky toned palette so i think there are a lot of similarities but they are very different from each other as well i have taken a footage in natural lighting so i will show you uh, in natural lighting as well how this palette looks like this one has four mattes and eight shimmers and this one has uh, six mattes and six shimmers so you get an equal quantity of shimmers and matte shades here now about the quality i think both the palettes are amazing quality and i think if i'm not wrong this palette the new hello palette is even more better than this palette the mattes here are just amazing they are so soft so pigmented so blendable so buttery there is a little bit of kick up uh, more in this palette i believe from this femme rosa palette but i did not really notice any kind of fallout pigmentation is great they are just so soft blendable shadows the masks are just amazing as for the shimmers also very very good quality very smooth pigmented shiny and here also i think it's the same the mattes are really nice these mattes they feel a little bit chalky on the pan but they work well on the eyes and the shimmers are also good i think only one of the shimmers which i feel like they're not very intense is this one the rest of the, of the shimmers are pretty good so i think both the palettes are really really nice it just depends on what kind of colors you're looking for and what kind of finish you're looking for so i think that is what is going to affect your decision ultimately i think if you have the femrosa palette and if you're considering to have this one the hello palette 
I think I'd still go for it because the finish which you get are pretty different. The colors are somewhat different. You, this is a nice extension palette. You get a lot of browns and beige and these kind of shades. Like if you don't have these kind of shades in your collection that is and you want to get something like this. I don't think that if you uh, have this one you cannot get this one because they are not the same. They are similar but I think there is enough difference that you can get uh, use out of both of them equally. And this one also can be a nice supplementary or a complementary palette to this one. So now I will show you the swatches and the comparison of the palettes in natural daylight. So let's go ahead and see that. So this is how they both look against each other. Together if you see them they look quite similar. So here are the matte shades swatch. On top we have the she palette and on bottom we have the you had me at hello palette. The tones are similar but the diff the mattes are quite different from each other. You have some browns here in a, the You Had Me At Hello palette. And this purple is also really nice. It's a pinky purple. And you have a rusty brown over here. And then you have this light lavendery pink. And the She palette also has really nice mattes. Which are similar but very different from each other. You definitely get more mattes in the You Had Me At Hello palette. So the shimmers are definitely similar in tones. But... Uh, I feel like the You Had Me At Hello palette has a little bit more intensity, they are a little bit more smoother. And this shade right here, this is stunning. This kind of a shade is not there in the Femme Rosa palette and also this orangey bronze shade is also not there. But you also get some stunning shades in the Femme Rosa palette which are not here in the second palette. There are two gold shimmers. These are golden shimmers so that is the same in both of them. And the first this vanilla white kind of a shimmer. <laughs> It's also pretty similar in both of them. You also have a rose gold shimmer here. But this one also has a rose gold shimmer. But this one is much more pigmented and vibrant. And this pinky shimmer is similar to some of the pinky shimmers. Which is there in the Femme Rosa palette. So yeah, that's about it. That's how all the shimmers look. Okay guys, the next palette which I want to compare is again from Colourpop. And this was also highly requested. This is the Double Play palette. And this one is the Knockout palette. And these are two face palettes from Colourpop. And they have released quite a long time back actually but they are still available on their website so you can still get them. There are a lot of resellers who are selling these so you can still get them so I thought let me do a quick comparison. So this is how both the palettes look like. I will show you in the inside because outside there is nothing to talk about really. Both the palettes have a blush and a highlight and both of them are 8 grams in both the palettes. A big drawback I find in these palettes is that on the actual palette there's nowhere mentioned what palette is this, which palette is this. So yeah, this one is the double play palette and this one is the knockout palette. So the double play palette, you can see it's a very neutral tone, peachy blush, a very warm sort of a blush. On my skin tone, it's a very, very subtle blush. Uh, I think if you have more deeper skin tone, this it's not going to flatter you too much. If you have fair skin tone, medium skin tone, this blush is going to show up much more better. On my skin tone, it's a really, really subtle blush. And here you have a peachy, corally, pinky sort of a blush. This blush also is very very subtle on my skin tone. Uh, sometimes when I feel like I need some subtle blushes, these are the blushes I go for. They are quite subtle. They are buildable but yeah, if you have a more fairer to medium skin tone, I think this will look much much more vibrant. They will show up much more. And these are the two highlights which you have. You In this one you have like a champagne pinky champagne kind of a peachy highlight in this one and here you have a goldeny highlight one thing i want to say is that the highlight is definitely much much better more intense more pigmented softer in this one in the double play one and the highlight here is uh, i mean a little less pigmented it is little less in intensity in this one in the knockout one now if you're someone who wants a little less intense highlight probably will like this one and if you're someone who is closer to my skin tone you will definitely like this highlight much better because this is a more gold toned highlight this one is also nice i wear both of the highlights today i'm wearing this highlight it's a very very intense highlight so yeah i think quality wise both the blushes and the highlights are really nice this one i feel like the highlight could have been a little bit more pigmented but i don't know if they have just designed it that way so i think that's all i want to say about these two palettes i have also compared these two palettes in natural lighting so let me just go ahead and show you that now okay so here are the two palettes this one is the knockout and this one is the double play let me give you a close-up as well this is how both the palettes look so the knockout one you can see that the blush is a little bit more peachy and the double play one the blush is a little bit more neutral more peachy neutral 
and the highlight in the knockout one is like a golden nigga highlight and this one is like a champagne highlight so these are the swatches of the two blushes this one is the knockout and this one is the double play and as you can see both the blushes look pretty similar on my skin tone i do have to build up quite a lot like here also i have built up quite a lot so on my skin tone you do have to uh, go with a heavy hand with the blushes if you want the colors to really show otherwise if you want a very subtle blush then this will work for you on fairer skin tone these may look a little bit different but on my skin tone the blushes look very very similar to each other this is how the two highlighters look i have just swatched and blended them out a little bit so as you can see this one is the knockout one it is a little golden highlight very very flattering on my skin tone but it's a little subtle side and this one is like a champagne uh, more of a champagne highlight but this one is really really intense you can see it's just one swipe and i have blended it out and it is super intense so i think which palette you want to go for depends on the highlight which you want okay next let's do another eyeshadow comparison eyeshadow palette comparison and this is between the modern renaissance palette from abh and the color drain queen of hearts palette so this was requested by one of you so i thought let me quickly compare this one i have compared this one to the huda beauty desert dust palette as well i will link it in the cards if you are interested but yeah these are quite uh, similar in some ways there are nice warm toned colors but they are actually not very very similar you can have both of the palettes depending on what kind of finishes you look for so this is how the palettes look like as you can see the color drain is a huge palette if i compare it to the modern renaissance like it's this much bigger on opening they look something like this as you can see that there are are a similarity in tones both are pretty warm toned pinky plummy kind of palettes the modern renaissance one has a two shimmer shades and the color drain one has six so definitely the number of shimmer shades which you are getting is a lot more in the color drain one and the mattes which you are getting are more in the modern renaissance so i think even though the color scheme is a little bit similar for both the palettes it depends on what kind of shadows you are looking for if you are looking for mattes then i think this is the way to go this has some great mattes especially you get a lot more number of mattes but the mattes in this one is also just amazing i feel like they could be some of the mattes are just even more pigmented than the abh ones the mattes are so good and the shimmers are also excellent quality i don't want to get into too much of a review or anything because i will do a review of this one on my blog as well so whenever i have the blog post ready i will link it in the video here but i think the quality is just amazing i have spoken about this too many times i think on my channel but yeah this is how this one looks i will just quickly show you the swatch comparison i have compared these two in natural setting so you can see which are the uh, shades which are a little similar but definitely i don't feel like if you have this one you can't have this one because this one is a lot more versatile in terms of the shimmer shades with which this one has and the mattes which this one has you can definitely go for this the quality is of the color drain is just amazing i mean i would highly highly recommend if any of you out there who is considering getting this palette i would highly recommend to get this one i am working on the blog post for this uh, so i hope it will be ready soon and you can see all the details and everything but for now let me show you the comparison of these two palettes in natural daylight setting okay so here are the two palettes this is the modern renaissance from abh and this is the queen of hearts from color drain and this is how both of them look i have swatched all the mattes of bottom we have color drain mattes and on top we have the modern renaissance mattes you can see that obviously modern renaissance has a lot more mattes but there are few shades which are similar but not exactly the same you can see this orangey shade from color drain this one is quite more pigmented than the modern renaissance one and then you have that purpley pink shade also which is similar but the color drain one is a little bit more deeper then you have that chocolate brown shade which is not exactly there in the modern renaissance palette then you have some lighter matte shades like a pink and a cream Uh, and a beige sort of a color those kind of colors are there in the modern renaissance but they are not exactly the same but they are yes somewhere close definitely and here you can see the shimmer or metallic finishes which are there in both the palettes the bottom one is obviously modern renaissance and the top one is color drain and definitely you get more variety in terms of shimmers in the color drain palette okay now we are on the last two palettes which i have and these are two blush palettes so these are limited edition holiday palettes from tarte and this one is the previous years works of something works of tarte this is a color wheel that tarte came out last year and this one is this year's uh, blush bazaar palette 
from Tarte and this is how they look. I think the last year's packaging was just stunning. I just bought it mainly for the packaging. It's just purple and just more purple. And this one is also really really nice. It's inspired from Moroccan theme I think. So yeah, this is how they look. Uh, before opening the palette, let me just tell you that these both of these palettes are made in China. This one is also made in China. So these are not made in USA as their permanent Tarte Amazonian clay blushes are. So this is how both the palettes look like. This is just absolutely stunning packaging. You just buy it for packaging. I have traveled with this palette so so much and I have got really a lot of use out of this palette. So I think this is totally worth it and the blush bazaar this time also I feel like the quality is just so so good. I Sometimes I feel like this is even more better than the last year's one. The blushes are so nicely pigmented, they are soft, they blend well and especially the highlights also I think they are much better this year. So both of them open the same way, this is how they look. They have this plastic protector uh, between so that protect your blushes not getting mixed into each other i don't know if you can see any kind of difference i feel like if in natural lighting you'll be able to see it much better which i will be showing you but uh, what i want to mention is the highlight shades in this new blush palette is definitely better in terms of the quality i do prefer the shade colors in this previous year's one but the quality of the highlights is much better in this one this one the highlights were just they were just useless but the formulation of the blushes in both the palettes are really nice. What I feel like I don't see a lot of difference. That's my only thing. Like if you have this palette, do you need this? I'm not really sure. I'm a crazy person so I got this one. Because honestly when I saw this one online, I felt like it has a lot of reddish tones. But it's actually not that reddish in shade. I don't know why the pictures were so misleading. I hardly can can see much of a difference. Uh, this one I would say the new one it's maybe a little bit more peachier toned and this one the previous year's one is, was a little bit more mauvier toned so this one is more on a peachy corally tone and this one was more on a mauve pinky tone so I think that's the only slightest of difference I don't know how much it will show up uh, different on the skin I really don't know but yeah the quality is there so if you don't have this one you can definitely look into this the blush palette this year's one is also really really good but if you have this one i'm really not sure if you want to get this one from this year's the blushes of course are really really nice there is a slight difference in the shades but i don't know if it's that different to get a whole new blush palette unless and until you're someone who goes by the expiration date probably mine this one has already expired but I personally don't go for expiration dates for powder products or blushes until unless I feel like this has gone bad, I still use this. So unless and until you're someone like that, that you're not going to use this after one year, you can definitely go in for this one because the quality I think is exactly the same as last year, probably even better. I'm not sure, it could be a little bit better. Uh, so now I'm going to show you these two blush palettes and some of the swatches in natural daylighting. The swatches are... Not that great, I don't think they tell you anything, the shades look very very similar, so be mindful of that. Anyways, I'll just show you the swatches and the blush uh, shade in natural daylight now. So here are the two blush palettes, this one is the Blush Bazaar, this year's release and then this one is last year's release which is called the Color Wheel. Let me give you a close up as well, so this is the Blush Bazaar and this is previous year's release, this is the first side and this is the second side. Here I have swatched out uh, the blushes from both the palettes. So this one is the Blush Bazaar and this one is the previous one. So honestly, I don't really see a lot of difference. It's very, very subtle difference. I will show you a little bit more closer. So this is how it is looking. I don't see a lot of difference. I mean, honestly, I, I can't tell a lot of difference. So here are the blushes. I don't know if it helps you in any way, but here it is. So these are the highlights and highlights are a little different from last year. This year it has a little golden highlight and a white pinky highlight. And last year they had very similar looking highlights. Both were kind of rose gold. But this year the highlights are different. Okay guys, so that's it for today's video. I have compared four palettes and I have been wanting to do this video since so long because few of you have been asking me to do this. So I really hope this was helpful for some of you guys and all of you enjoyed it. If you did then please don't forget to give this video a thumbs up and also if you are watching me for the first time I really hope you consider subscribing. And thank you so much for watching me today. I will see you guys really soon in my next video. Bye.